Don't lose hope. There is something much better waiting for you. Welcome to Spirita Vivo. Often we have desires that do not come true. Why is it that God, the universe, does not give us what we want, even if we want it so much? Is there a special reason for this? God has a special plan for your life that goes far beyond what we can imagine, unlike the real world where a dead end leads nowhere. God, the universe, has a different approach. Cosmic laws are designed to offer infinite possibilities. The limitations and restrictions in our physical world do not bind them. If you believe and trust in God or the universe without doubt, doors and paths will open for you that may have been invisible before. Then you have surely developed some communion with your spiritual guide. Call it what you will, prayer or meditation, or listening to your inner voice. This dialogue makes you aware of this heavenly reassurance in every life situation. Of course, we may ask God for something at any time. After all, He wants everyone to be well. Otherwise, why would He have gone to all this trouble with us? We are important for this project to succeed as part of His creation. So ask, and it will be given to you, is a familiar saying from the Gospel of Matthew reminding us that we should ask for what we need and trust, that God or the universe will give us what we need. But what if your prayers seem to go unanswered? Does God then say no to us? Let me tell you. The opposite is true. God says, let me explain. I have something much better for you. God is saying that sometimes our beliefs are more ballast than fuel. God sometimes acts against our express wishes because He has the big picture in mind, including our past and future. He has all the information and sees the big picture, whereas humans have only a limited insight into what surrounds us. Because of this comprehensive perspective, God knows what is better for us than we know. By trusting in God's wisdom and the universe, we can detach ourselves from our limited ideas and open ourselves to the fullness of life. When we desire something from our hearts, we often have a very clear idea of it in our minds. For example, when it comes to love, we imagine the ideal partner who will fulfill us completely. But how much do we know about this longed-for person? Even if we were the perfect lid for that pot, that doesn't necessarily mean it's the same the other way around. God hears and sees everything. He knows the depths of that person's character, even if that person feels unobserved or is with others. Sometimes it is a blessing when such a heart's desire remains unfulfilled because we do not always know what is good for us. But when is a no, a divine no? With our typical beliefs, we humans would like to juggle all the balls simultaneously and shine with them. Of course, this only works somewhat, but we still try with all our might. When obstacles arise, we tend to overcome them or go around them in the first moment. Most of the time, we don't like to accept when something or someone gets in our way. Many people react indignantly. Some like little children when denied a wish or request. We may recognize a divine no only in retrospect when we take the time to look back and reflect on the events in our lives. We often realize that the setbacks and rejections ultimately led us to new opportunities and better ways. By relying on our gut feelings and intuition, we can learn to perceive this divine nose better and use them as opportunities for growth and development. Instead of getting upset or resentful, we should see such situations as learning opportunities and focus on what we can take away from them. By accepting these divine no's, we can focus more on the present and open ourselves to the abundance of life. When we engage with it, we can experience how God explodes our narrow ideas and limited desires and instead opens doors to new, magnificent possibilities. 
By humbly and gratefully engaging in these ways, we can open ourselves to a fuller and happier life exceeding our expectations. It would be exactly the wrong way to rush things at this point and want to go headlong into the wall. Of course we can, and many of us also consistently follow this unholy star to our doom. What happens when we sabotage God's will? We logically draw the short straw and will experience what it means to go against God's wisdom and omniscience. God does not punish us for our disobedience. We may confidently bid farewell to this gloomy picture, which is indebted to the striking language of the Old Testament. Nevertheless, the matter we have forcefully instigated will not go smoothly. We recognize a divine no, because there is no easy way around it. Should we nonetheless try to overcome the walls, we will deeply regret it. Relationships we want to force will bring us to our knees and the edge of what we can bear. Jobs and career jump that we bring about by any means, perhaps even by unfair, immoral, or illegal methods, will rob us of the joy of life that still flows in our veins. God doesn't have to punish us. Circumstances will. The next time you hit your limits, you better respect them and say thank you. A heavenly veto can save you a lot of trouble, frustration, disappointment, and pain. Please don't think that you know better than God. He no longer sends a flood in this day and age to punish such hubris. But the life that your stubbornness and arrogance will bring you will not be good. Instead, we should learn to recognize the signs and listen to our intuition. If we trust in divine guidance and humbly and gratefully engage in these ways, we can open ourselves to a fuller and happier life far exceeding our expectations. Let go of the belief that you can control and force everything and open yourself to the wisdom and guidance of the higher power that always has your best interests in mind. Our conclusion today Someone knows better. Trust that the next time you don't get a wish from God, rejoice. Something much better is planned for you and is already in the works. God only means well to us. Humanity would not be worth all the trouble it has been for creation since its creation otherwise. So God must care about us. There is no other explanation for this. So. Don't cry after the supposed good when the better is already at your door. Learn to see the divine no as an opportunity and recognize its hidden blessings. By developing trust in the universe and divine guidance, you will find that life will miraculously take care of you and always offer you the best, even if it initially feels different. Surrender to God's wisdom and loving guidance and open yourself to the unexpected that will lead you to a more fulfilling, happier future. If today's podcast inspired you, feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to never miss a new episode. We'd really appreciate it. Thank you and see you soon on our channel.